Hello everyone, it's Sexy Cat here. I'm gonna play a new game today called Rim World. Um, well, it's not new for me. I've been playing it for the last couple weeks, kind of obsessively. But I have a special challenge I would like to complete, and I'm gonna record it while I do it. So this game is a very special game. It's very nice. Um, I've had some successful colonies, but on kind of easier difficulties. Um, we're going to kind of do a harder one with also a kind of roguelike element where we won't be able to save and go back to our old saves. We'll have to kind of commit to whatever happens. So, there's also these various scenarios you can start out with. I'm going to do the most difficult one, the Naked Brutality. So you can start crash landed where you start with three people, some gear, and uh, some researches. You can do Lost Tribe where you have no researches but you have five people. Um, Rich Explorer has a bit of research but it's just one guy with a bunch of cool equipment. Or you can just do one person with nothing. So that's what I'm going to do. One person, nothing. Um, these are like different ways you can do storytelling. Um, she's chillax. Uh, this guy's random and this this girl kind of progresses things they kind of like tune things based upon what's going on um, these are pretty similar Randy is just random um, Cassandra's just fine enough and so there's a lot of different difficulties so far I've only done builder well my first big colony was builder and then I've, I've had a pretty successful medium one and since, since we're doing Naked Brutality, it's also going to be super duper hard already. So we'll just do Medium. Um, and then this is where I'm talking about, you can do Reload Anytime, where you can reload your old states, or Commitment Mode, where you have to, whatever happens, you have to commit to it. So here we go. I've tried this a few times, and haven't lasted past the first raid. Um, so we'll just keep things default as far as the world generation. So I'm going to go into the game design a little bit, because I really love the game design of this game, and I like talking about game design. And I love this game. This game is freaking amazing. It's absolutely wonderful. And I'm just looking for a, kind of a new challenge to stimulate myself. So as far as starting locations, if you start kind of farther south, they tend to be colder, and then you have to worry about keeping your colonists warm, and then things don't grow as well, and more... Or I guess that's more the poles. I just realized that. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I think it always is south is hot. Because south is kind of in the middle of the planet there. Um, and then the north is just... So south is hot. And then north is cold. And then you got different terrain types. So there's like... This is a desert here. You get a little more mountains desert. Extreme desert. Forests. Jungles. Swamps. So just different kind of like humidity and different things, different animals are there. Um, these are other colonies too, these little uh, little icons. Red ones are hostile already. Um, and they're all different, each icon is the same faction. So each of these skull and crossbones are the, the lens faction. So they're all around here and they tend to be pirates. They tend to want to raid you. Um, so the closer you are, the more likely you might get raided by them. Um, we, it's super, I found out it's super advantageous to be close to somebody you could trade with. Because then you could get stuff you need. And, um, it's just super useful to be able to trade. So, each world is different, depends who, who, so these guys start out negative 80, so they're hostile. But these guys are zero, neutral. So it would be easier to trade with them. These guys, I can actually just donate money to them and they'll eventually be nice to me, but it'll take longer. Also, if you're on a, on a road, if you need to travel somewhere, it will go a little faster. So, I, since it's already difficult, I don't want to make it kind of harder on myself. I want to try somewhere maybe in the middle where the temperature has a good range. Not too hot, not too cold. It'll say the temperature. Like, this is a pretty far range from freezing to... But it's still pretty cool, up to 85 degrees. But it'll still go to the extremes past those temperatures. And your colonists are very sensitive to extreme temperatures. So I'm trying to think of a good spot. These guys are hostile, so I, the per I want to be close to a purple guy in a good temperature. 
So, like, I want to do a temperate forest. It's pretty good. So I think I'll be close to these guys as possible. And if I'm in between, I can go to either one and they have different stuff. So we're going to try somewhere in between there. Uh, let's see, 46... 18 degrees to 75 degrees. So a little chillier. If we go down here. 36 to 77. That's a really nice middle ground. They're looking at all these colonies. Maybe we'll settle here. I'm gonna be if I was on the road I can easily trade with them. This was from 42 degrees to 79 degrees. That's a very nice moderate temperature. But there are a lot of pirates around here. But later in the game I can also <clears throat> destroy their base eventually it's probably gonna be a long while and I probably won't make it that long I probably won't even make 30 minutes <laughs> to survive so I just kind of wanted to explain some of the t uh, ideas too so let's choose this spot this is the next step we gotta find a good colonist so this kind of was like a Dungeons and Dragons or just like an RPG style where you roll a character they have they have a look to them, they have various stats. So these can increase if you keep using them too. Um, they might start with some health problems. Um, and then these traits are actually very, effect they influence pretty strongly. This person is psychically sensitive. So when there's weird psychic things, she'll be more affected and trigger happy. They like, they shoot faster but less accurate. So I want a uh, somebody. Uh, I want a girl who's kind of cute, as or I like the avatar, and then the stats will have to be pretty important. If you're starting by yourself, you can't depend on other people. I pretty much need. I need either. I need a shooting. I need construction. I need mining. I guess mining's not hyper hyper important, but cooking cooking implants are hyper important. Shooting's important. Um, crafting is pretty important. So those are like. The four or five that I definitely, definitely need. Social would, will make things easier, but you don't necessarily need that. I can find people later that'll fill in the gaps for everything else. Let's see if there's anybody in this. It generates a few people to select from, and then you can just randomize beyond that. So she's decent. Construction, mining. I, I'm kind of looking for somebody who's good. The, the most important ones for the beginning. So cooking is zero, which is... I think they can still technically cook. But I kind of need cook. But sh and then the, the fire means that they learn that thing faster. So if it's... It's a passion with one fire, or it's a very burning passion if it's two fires. They learn, learn 100% or 150%. And then normally it's just 35%. So this person has some good stuff, but I kind of want more cooking. I Actually, I could probably go with this person. I'm not a fan of the mining. Iron, let's see the traits. Oh, wow, this is actually very good. Another thing you have to consider is um, the mood of your character. Because if their mood goes really down, they'll have a mental break. And then they can't control them, and they might do something weird. Um... Plus everything kind of like, they're less effective when they're lower mood. And if they're higher mood, it just helps things really well. Kind. This is actually, just that low cooking is the only bad thing. I think I'm just going to go for it. I can rename them completely. So... Alright, I want like Maureen comes to mind. I kind of like a... She's old, so I'll give her an old name here. Maureen. Eh, we need a better name. Uh, yeah, this will work. I'm really not expecting to survive too long. Let's go. Generation. So the beginning of the game with this mode will be the most difficult. If I can get past the beginning and survive, then I might have a chance. Oh shit, I didn't select that person. This is somebody else. This person might not be viable at all. If they have certain stats, they, I might not even be able to survive here. Wow, this person's not that bad. I skipped this person? Is there anything I need? need? This is this is okay. This is actually not bad at all. Okay. 
Savannah, <laughs> accidentally. So let's take a, a zoom out look at everything. This mega sloth here. Very dangerous, very powerful. Uh, some steel here. It's pretty open, pretty. So we'll need trees to, and maybe we'll have to hunt some stuff. Let's see what wildlife is available. I want to look for wildlife that doesn't attack back at the beginning. So we got some does up here, a bunch of deer. These would be great hunting. So I might want to, I'm just thinking where I want to settle my first stuff. And I, it's also good to use these kind of ruins. I kind of make a, a base from that. These don Do donkeys fight back? I think they do, but probably not that threatening. I also want to be around trees, but it looks like there's plenty of trees all, everywhere. Also, can you consider later in the game when you get raided, they come from all, all sorts of different directions. So if you're super close to like one side, you might, might be disadvantageous. This could be made into a base pretty easily, and this one too. I want to be closer to that deer in the beginning. There's no, no like, there's nothing that's really standing out to me. You can also, if I did the side of the rocks, what is this? I just can't see it. Is that a tunnel in there? I'm going to just go over there. So you start out naked. Oh. So they don't like being naked. So you can go to needs and it'll show all the things that are affecting their mood right now so you kind of constantly have to monitor that it gives you a kind of like a, a boost in the beginning this extremely low expectations it gives you a positive 30 to your mood to help you kind of just help you out in the beginning but yeah i'm chilly and naked so those are minus and some optimism from just starting how come i can't see there that's weird i'm just gonna mine this just to see what the heck She's already mining. That's kind of weird. I don't know if it's like a cave or something. I might just make uh, Just use this as a kind of like... Okay, it's just nothing. I'm going to pause it because every second kind of counts in the beginning. So I got some... I, yeah, I feel like I'm going to start here. I can also smooth out the, um, the sandstone to make it look nicer for her. Yeah, their their surroundings when it's ugly, they lose, they get their mood gets worse. So you kind of have to make things nice for them. Um, there's all sorts of random little things like that. So I'll just talk about that as it goes along. So let's first get some trees. Although we need food really quickly too. These berries will do okay. I think the berries will hold me over for a minute here. But I'll eventually have to hunt these deer. And I need a, like a bow to hunt them. So should I build shelter first? I actually probably should just gather food. It's not too cold outside. It's only 54 degrees. So let's see. So I'm going to make a spot where I can craft a bow. And then I need some wood. So this tree is mature enough. These aren't mature enough. Because otherwise I would say chop tree down here. So we'll have her chop the tree. So you kind of... this In this mode you start with one person. So you kind of micromanage what they do. But you, you eventually get more people. And you have like... Kind of your structure. Your kind of organization. You have tools to kind of... This is like your main bar for adjusting the priorities you can make these numbers lower or higher and then they'll they'll kind of start from the left and go through the series and whatever number is lower they'll do that first and then go up through so like there's a fire the firefight if somebody needs help or first the patient is to just rest in bed and let somebody take care of you and so on and so on so you kind of adjust these numbers you'll have a huge grid for a bunch of players um, is that enough so I need how much wood for a bone 30 wood. It's just a little bit more. I also need to establish 
the stockpile zone. It's where they'll bring the items to. We'll harvest those berries too. Yeah, so she's going straight to making the bow. So now we'll kind of go fast forward a little bit. So her food is start going down as she gets hungrier and hungrier. And also that's she'll have to rest over some time too. She get this heal root too. This helps when you get injured, you need to tend your wounds. They just you can do it without heal root, but heal root helps a little bit. As things are left outside, they'll decay. Or they'll just decay even their inside, but if you keep the temperature low, you can have them last a little bit longer. So these berries left outside. So they'll spoil in 14 days, but also their HP will go down if they're just literally outside, so it might be even quicker than that. So we'll just harvest some things. Okay. Haul the berries. Oh, don't make another bow. She make another. Oh, she didn't finish the bow. Okay. She just took. She just wanted to take a break for some reason. I also need to make campfire, so I can uh, so I can cook these berries into a simple meal. A simple meal just takes ten nutrition or ten of any food item. You can make better meals from like a meat with a vegetable and you also need a certain cooking skill too so yeah she'll need food pretty soon once it gets to that first tick bar they'll they'll get a mood debuff because they're hungry okay i need a little bit more wood she started cleaning because her priorities she had nothing else to do so she started cleaning and that's one thing too, like if I go to the beauty bar, it'll say how much beauty this is affecting, each each tile is affecting the beauty. So like these rocks are negative 14, dirty spots are way negative too, but trees are like positive ones, so they like trees. Okay, so now I need to cook simple meal. We'll actually set that on to do forever. Prioritize it. Oh, an excellent bow. Nice. So each time you craft something, they have a different quality level depending on their their skills. Does she have high crafting? Oh, she does. Yes. It'll make the item a lot better. <clears throat> Let's see my 11 damage. Pretty good. will probably be not accurate. Her shooting's not bad either. I actually got lucky with this character. So she'll eat. Oh, she's not eating at a table though, so she'll get a, a deep a mood debuff from that. Oh, she's got hearing loss. So hearing only affects how you talk to people. Like uh, recruiting them or trading with them. So she'll trade. My trading cost will be bad for for now, because she wants to relax for a little bit. Another thing is they need recreation. So different things satisfy their recreation. Their beauty bar. If things are really low and it's ugly, like she has unsightly environment, everything's not pretty. So she's getting a, a mood debuff. But her recreation was fully satisfied or satisfied enough, so she feels good. So. She'll get tired pretty soon. I think I should hunt the, a deer. So I'll put a little target on one of them. She'll equip the bow and she'll go hunting. I'm going hunting. Just need a from my last playthrough I realized I need to keep a good stockpile of food when you kind of get really hungry it starts to kind of spiral down so it's probably good first to get some food and then I'll build some shelter 
while maintaining a decent food supply. So she'll probably miss a lot of the shots. She's not <laughs> sure to shoot this one. But luckily, uh, these don't fight back. So like if, I, if I hunt this guy, he's a chance to hi fight back. Depending on your stealth stat, your animal stat. Could run away though. But it might be, yes, yeah, it's bleeding, but it's not in danger. Now it'll it'll actually die over some time. And you actually have injuries in very specific spots. So, so it has an injured liver. This affects your players too. So you can like, like later on I could give them like a hearing aid yeah, the technology gets really crazy. This is the research bar. So in the beginning, I could do like beer, which is actually pretty good for their mood. Then you can evolve electricity, which I have electricity in a few things. Then microelectronics, which are some more complex electric things. And some even higher electric into, until you buy like, in, the goal of the game, the quote unquote goal is to get out of this planet by building a ship and then it ends but I kinda just like to keep going man this thing forever to kill this but I do want to actually kill it I could just let it die by itself but I want to bring it back it's just starting to get tired I want to mess up her sleep schedule so it's just completely open So as you get hurt, all sorts of things get affected. If you're in pain, it's like a big mood de-boost. Um, as your consciousness goes down, you'll just completely go unconscious, which affects other things like if you can move or not, and your speed of moving, manipulation is how you craft things or use things. It's a pretty insane game, very detailed. It's bleeding all over the place. Dying in five hours. There he goes, dead now. Oh, I need a dumping stockpile. I could just add corpses to this stockpile. Uh, no humans, though. If they see human corpses, it's a big D boost. Big mood D boost. So I pretty much always die after the first raid, and usually it's just one dude with a knife, but it's hard to get any gear and be any decent. I'm thinking if I set up some traps, I might be able to help defend myself. Ooh, a rat, that'd be an easy kill. Hunt that. Donkey, donkey! Okay, is she tired yet? Yeah, so I'm going to put down a bed. I'm just going to do a temporary one for now. How much is a bed? 45 wood? I would need to mine some wood for a minute, which... I probably should just let her sleep. Next to the... Next to the carcass. What is she doing? She's hunting. She still wants to hunt. So, sometimes they go so far without sleeping, but you can't force them to sleep. It's gonna take forever to kill that rat. Okay, now she'll sleep. I just went into battle mode just to kind of reset her, her commands. So then maybe she would go to sleep when she did. So sleeping outside is probably a mood debuff. She's cold, slept outside, slept in the cold, slept on the ground. Ugh. But because of this low expectations, uh, her mood will, won't tr spiral down. Okay, 
Just back up. Just eating the berries? Okay, that's fine. Or her food's really low. So they usually sleep till the rest is all the way up. Now what is she doing? Hunting? Okay, I need... I need a butcher spot. That's what I need. Production butcher spot. And then we'll... Butcher forever. So then she'll slice this deer up into its leather and its meat. <clears throat> the leather can be used to make armor or all sorts of different things, but I'll use it to make like uh, clothing. Wait, do I have technology to make decent clothing? Oh, I do. Oh, dang. Maybe I should make a, a tailor bench. Plus, my crafting is really good. I wonder if it gives you better armor. Let's see, like a button-down shirt. 7% for sharp. And then what is... Tribal wear is like the basic. Oh, I guess I won't be able to see... <clears throat> Wait, huh. The tailor bench takes steel and... Oh, just wood. Yeah, I should probably do that. Make some better clothes for her. I mean, better clothes than tribal wear. Any clothes. I'm sure she'd be happy with any clothes. You have to use the same type of leather, though, and a lot of different animals have different kinds of leather. But maybe luckily with these deer, I'll be able to get a lot of plain leather. Oh no, he's... Don't eat my deer. Okay, should we make a bunch of simple meals? Which is good. Get to stock up on those. Then we'll want to... Get some wood and start making our... Infrastructure. But I want to get maybe get that deer. If, it, if the warg isn't going to eat it. Did he get injured? Yeah, just a bruise. Okay. What's she doing? Butchering. Okay, exactly what I need her to do. Nice. He saved the hunting for me. That's good. The meat lasts two days, and these last four days. It's probably worth to keep cooking. Yeah, let's just keep let's cook all the meals, and then we'll start building some of the structure. So this should hold me off for maybe a day or two. Okay, we'll chop this. Feeling pretty good about this run. Hope I do a good job. What are you doing? What's she doing? Hunting that rat again. Okay, we don't need that rat. We need this wood. So. It'd be good if it's uh, big enough to further them to be comfortable. So, usually it's 8x8 eight eight for, for them to feel like it's a nice space. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we'll just assume that's not the wall. I could mine that, but we'll just go up to here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I might have to mine up to there. That's fine. Why can't I? Oh. Well, we'll just let that run out when it runs out. Let's build a door as well. She's building super fast. Construction's really good.
I accidentally got a pretty good, decent character. I'm surprised. I don't know why I skipped this person. Okay, well, how, what is her? Yeah, she can stay up for a little bit longer. So maybe I should deconstruct. Campfire. And then that'll allow her... And then if I build this last piece of wall, she'll be able to build a roof. Nope. And then, oh, it'll be dark. So we need torch. Nope. Oh, I need I need more wood. Will this yield wood? No, these are too too immature. We need more wood. Okay, she needs some recreation. Going for a walk. Gotta keep their mood up. It's cold outside? It's only 60 degrees. You should to kill these trees before she can finish the roof. I need you to build a torch, because if it's dark, she won't, uh, she'll have trouble building and doing stuff inside of here. Is it fully roofed? Yeah, it's indoors. Okay, nice. So, what's next? I kind of would like to build, make clothes, but I don't have enough leather to do that. I would have to finish killing those deer, which maybe would be a good idea to do anyways. Her food's kind of low, so she'll have to eat, and then she'll probably go to sleep pretty soon. Actually, yeah, building a table would be nice, because they feel happier when they can build a table. So I'll need some more wood, too. Built so fast, it's dope. The plants are a little bit slow. I never, I usually am watching something while I play this game, so I never hear the music, but this music is like pretty dope. It's like a really good ambiance. Okay, she's tired. At least she's not sleeping outside this time. Is it cold though? It's warmer inside. I'm seeing that in the bottom right it has these information, so it has a temperature. So yeah, this food will last me a, a little bit. Need defenses already. Pirate raids. So I wonder if I build a, a wood trap, like right here, and then go inside, and then maybe when they try to go inside, they'll get hit by the trap. I'm going to at least try it. Or maybe I could build like a little, um, uh, a little barricade. You can build these little barricades where you shoot over, and then I'll build traps in the front of the barricade. You can also use these stones. It's kind of like, because it takes, it's harder to walk over the stone. So you can kind of use this as like a pseudo barricade. So if they come, I could like camp out like right here and then shoot good thing she, she's a better she's a decent shot so that's good I'm thinking it might be even be worth to have a knife nearby so I can shoot her you can only hold one one weapon at a time like I can shoot them and then when it comes time I could take the knife I don't have any steel though but that's steel right here Let's put those to mine. What's her mining ability? That's pretty good too. Man, she's a per like a perfect character for this game, for this round type of style. Okay, we'll let her do that. I'll have my tea.
It's a nice chair, so it takes a while. This, I can make a simpler chair, but this one's nicer. I'm gonna try to give her some nice things so she's in a better mood. Oh man, yeah, it's gonna take a while in mine. Awful bedroom. Ugly environment. Eight without table, but she has one now. Oh, I should build a bed too. I guess defenses are more important than... So I should maybe do defenses first and then do that other stuff. So we'll build a knife. How much is a club tank? 40? What about... Knife takes 30. Is a club? Do more damage? Six damage per second and knife. Six point five. So knife is slightly better. As far as damage. Oh yeah, I could we knife takes only thirty? So I can make it already. How will we do that? Good knife, nice. So now I'm gonna focus on my defenses. So I'll just kind of make, it'll notify you when they're coming. So I'll make a little spot that I'll put myself in. Hmm. If it's out in the open, I can be able to shoot him when he's coming. And my bow is decent range. Maybe this is like a nice cozy spot because these will kind of help me defend anyways. I kind of have this as my spot. So I don't know which angle they'll come from. We'll just build some. Oh, they take 35. We'll just build a bunch of traps. Just in hopes that it'll help. Okay, that's going to be a lot of wood. So we'll make a stockpile zone here just so... Um, that doesn't have to go all the way back. Raw resources? Wood. Yeah, the stockpiling is kind of an interesting system. I'm not going to bother talking about it right now, but... You can you can set all these whatever you want in, in a, a zone. And you can do all these settings like how much hit points they have to have. And then they'll always bring stuff of that, of that type to that spot. But sometimes it could be finicky, or it's not finicky, it makes perfectly logical sense, but it just requires a lot of messing around with to get what you want accomplished. You can't directly take something you want to a specific spot. You have to make like a zone, and you have to make it the most priority for that thing, but then they'll start bringing other things of that same type to it. But I also need to bring my knife here. So this will be clear all important weapons melee. So that'll be the knife spot. Our stats are okay. Visitor? few items to trade. Usually it's like nothing worthwhile, but we'll see what's up. So this visitor will come eventually. Oh, boomalopes are dope. 
<laughs> These are it's like a made up animal. Oh, there's a lot of real animals and some made up animals. These ones, um, some animals give milk. Like cows have regular milk. But these have milk, but they're, they give chem fuel, which is basically just like gasoline, is their milk, which is dope. So it can be used to power stuff or used to make like explosives. Um, so they're great to tame and have, but they're also kind of dangerous if you shoot them and they blow up. Uh, yeah, they'll blow up if you, if they die. So Barbara's coming to my, my camp soon. Be working on this security encampment. Sentry post. She's eating now. Now she can use a table, so that would be happy. Or at least it won't give her a negative. You know, this is still it expires. The the debuffs ex expire over time, and now she's relaxing at the table. Oh, I need to talk to this person. Oh, I gotta help finish, let her relax. Finish relaxing. Okay, she's gonna bring the knife there, but I wanna talk to this person. My poor health. Oh, because I have bad hearing. I can't give her anything, and I don't have any silver to have, so I can't get anything from her. So that's great. I'm just gonna use my table to eat. got a gun. Heavy SMG, wow. It'd be useful if she was around when the I get raided. Man, I hope I survive. I never survived this first raid. Or at least I like kill the guy, but I die from like bleeding and stuff. So the nice outside so it'll it'll actually decay out here. doesn't really need to save since unless they like froze I guess the meals are doing well for me more visitors another trader my meat has rotted my simple meal is still alive Okay, when she wakes up, she'll eat, and then she'll... I'll talk to these guys. <laughs> I'm just a naked, like... Ooh, a, a hair. I could get pants for $100, but I don't have anything to give them. So sorry. Build this. Oh, she needs to. I need to chop more trees down. Sentry post is expensive with wood. Okay, it's not a raid, it's a ra mad raccoon. Was he close by already? Oh, these guys will help me. Hell yeah. Good timing for. Something to happen. Okay, I'll have her keep chopping until he gets nearby. So this is one of the like bad events that happen. This is a raccoon that's hungry for man flesh. It only knock a person down. It won't actually kill them though. I wonder if these guys should shoot it. Where is it? Oh shit! Where'd it go? Where the hell's that raccoon? Oh, here he is. <laughs> I just want to finish chopping this tree so I don't waste it. Or I just don't waste this time cutting it. Okay, now we'll go into my spot. But they'll probably shoot it. It's a crazy raccoon! Oh, they're not going to shoot it. Oh yeah, there you go. Thanks, guys. And then I'll happily eat that. Butchering, yes. Very nice. 
Thank you for the raccoon. Okay, it's a different kind of leather, light leather, and plain leather. Continue working on this. So probably I won't get a raid for a little while now after that event happened. So I'm probably kind of safe. want to finish building it though. I think I'm gonna have to hunt the rest of those deer soon. Raccoon doesn't yield that much meat. I also want to build it. Get those clothing. So we'll just finish these trees off. She'll get hungry though. <laughs> Don't clean right now. Uh, I need to build another, um, I could build a more proper, what do you call it, a stove, I get a fueled stove, I don't have enough s stone for it, so we'll just keep using the, the fire to cook stuff. Simple meal forever. Should we cook another meal? I could probably hunt after this, after she eats. Okay. So let's see. Oh! One died already. Is it, it's still fresh, it's not rotting yet. Oh my god, how many did it kill? Well, these are just sleeping. It's just so bloody over here. This warg is doing the work for me, that's good. So we'll wanna, she'll probably automatically, yeah, haul this over here. That's good, if I get enough leather, I'll be able to make some clothes. She wants to relax. Initial optimism expires in four days. Okay, so we'll make some more meals. But she'll probably go to sleep soon. It's probably it's probably better to cook it first because it rots faster as just raw meat. Now sleepy sleep time. Oh, she likes the interior. That's good. I mean, it's spacious, but it's awful, too. Oh, oh damn. She should have ate before she went to sleep. Crap. Oh, she's gonna get very hungry after that bar goes really low. Ravenously hungry. Ugh. Okay, she'll eat first. Okay. Let's see, is my my woods over here, but I'll, I'll need some more wood to build. Like a, maybe I should build a bed first. Some more chop chop. zone anymore okay so we got a proper bed now I also want to make that tailor bench so I can make some clothes mm. 
something. Don't clean. Hard to tell when a tree's mature now. I should also build a. There's just so many things I need to build, it's ridiculous. Build a horseshoe's pin so they can have fun with that. Okay, now I can see how much any of these clothes cost. So, what should I give her first? How about pants? Seems priority. Of course, 40 ingredients, so I can make some pants. That's good. <laughs> okay, working on those pants, plain leather pants. pants on you're still mostly naked still feel naked this is humiliating so I guess if I hunt the rest of those deer I can get more leather and, and finish an outfit so but she's getting a little hungry so I can have her eat first okay do some hunting hunt the same kind of animal it'll help me get enough le uh, the same type of leather to build a clothing because it has to have the same type of leather but if you get a bunch of different kinds of leathers you can make a, a patch leather but it's a weaker form oh shit damn this warg is doing it for me was it our, the one I already shot she's cloud watching for recreation Nice. Thanks for that. Ward, you're doing all the work for me. I also need some of these heat more than make sure I got enough of these heel roots. Let's see, what's the next thing? I wanna make a shirt. T shirt's probably a simpler. I need forty ingredients. Oh, you're cooking. Okay. What's her cook level? It's only three. I think it has to be either five or six to make a better meal. And it require the better meal requires a protein and a vegetable. Oh yeah, she's. I usually should. I usually sow some some vegetables, but I have plenty of animals here to hold me up over for now. Okay, let's turn. She's gonna go to sleep. This time I'm gonna eat first, so I don't get hungry while I'm while I'm sleeping. Now she's sweating. Now it's hot. I need to make one of those coolers. There's. A thing that doesn't exist at all in the real world, but this passive cooler works by water evaporation. This makes sense. You gotta fuel it with wood and it'll keep things cooler. Okay, here's a raid. Oh shit. Uh oh. Did it point upwards too? No, okay. Okay, so usually just a dude with a knife, and yeah, it's a dude with a knife. Alright, see if I can survive this. 
Not like they're that tough, but I have like no, no gear. So I'm gonna just rest for a minute. It'll take him a minute to get up here. Oh, he's not attacking yet. He's just setting up. So I'll be fully resting. He's just not to take enough damage to die. Just getting the heal root. That's a good, good thing to get right now. You know, you know he's attacking. Are you hauling it? No. Damn. Okay, I think it's a good time to to get in my position. All right, let's see how the battle's gonna go. Cool, you can just like pause it so you can make micro decisions, but there's still just some chances, some rolls. One miss, two miss. Is he going straight from my base? Three misses. Is he gonna hit the trap? He missed the trap. Okay, I'm gonna equip the knife now. Equip the knife. Oh. I can try to run past the traps, but I just need to... Oh! Oh no! I can probably just run at this point. And he'll just... Okay, I'll just keep going. Okay, thank god! I could capture him! Was it worth to capture them? Ooh, he's got eight hours to die. See, I have to mend myself, too. I'm gonna put self tend on. Can I build some walls to try to capture him? It would be nice to have another guy. Or I could just make. I could just sleep outside while he sleeps in here and then I build. I guess that's, that's the, probably the best way to do it. Make this a prisoner room. A lot of times they just die, but if he stays alive, you can capture them and then eventually recruit them. And they get added to your group. So we'll capture him now. But I'm hurting too. I have death in 18 hours without if I don't get mended. So I'm gonna first. Well, I guess she wants to eat first. Consuming. Okay. I want to tend to yourself first. Use the good medicine on yourself. Oh man, it's gonna take a while to tend. Okay, I'll survive now. Now I can tend to him. Or, yeah, this is a girl. A bruno. A bruno. Leave death in six hours. For now, now it's up to nine. Up to fourteen. I gotta keep healing them. He's a wooden foot. <laughs> I'm feeding them. So after I do this, I want to build a little, a little place for this guy. So I guess I survived pretty much. 
We'll see if we get this extra guy, too. He's dope. Whoa, dead animals. Always rotting already. Who killed these raccoons? What is this? Another. Something killed all these animals. Is it a cougar? Is it a donkey? These does? Ibex? So we'll make that the his spot. Now I gotta escort him. Her. Okay. And we'll change him to recruit. Oh my god, 52 resistance. This is gonna take forever to recruit this person. It might not even be worth it. Because I have to constantly feed them. And they might try to escape. Prison break interval is 206 days, though. So that'll be a long time until they try to escape. I guess I'll keep them alive forever. I should have ate before I went to sleep. I'm not going to let my food get to that low. Just to wake her up. Okay, I think it's time to hunt more. do a buck this time so maybe they'll keep reproducing or something I don't know if they do reproduce out in the wild she went back to sleep oh she's resting to heal but is that really necessary right now I'm gonna say to not do this right now I don't have to spend time recruiting him a bunch of times. His so resistance went down by 0 0.1. Oh my gosh. I don't think this is worth it. Not at this stage. It's going to be such a cost to keep them alive. And it's going to take... It's going to like never... I guess it's going to never be recruited. Is my social really low? Oh, my social is really low. Damn, it's going to be hard to get a person. <sighs> Maybe I'll just keep them alive. She's still injured a little bit. Her kidney got stabbed. Well, we sur I think this is furthest I've survived on this on this mode. I've done this like five times or something, so that's pretty dope. I usually don't survive the first raid. So maybe we'll continue this another time. That was pretty fun. We'll see if I want to record another episode of this, but yeah, I think I will. So join us next time on RimWorld Hard Mode. See you later.